guys, it's Ivy. Thank you so much for tuning in to my video. Today I am actually going to be doing a running video because I know that I got a lot of requests for fitness videos and since I love running, I just decided to make this video for you guys just to help some of you beginners out there and honestly I am in no means a professional at all because I've only been running for like a year so I am not even close to being a professional. This video is just for those of you who are just starting to run or you're not really sure what to expect, I'm here to help hopefully and answer your questions and if you have additional questions feel free to comment down below because I will be sure to answer all of your questions and you know I read every one of your comments so I see you girls. And so anyways guys. the first tip I have for you guys for running is to always stay hydrated and so in order to stay hydrated, you know, you need water. It's honestly a really important part of exercising to keep water or just to stay hydrated because if you're not hydrated and you're dehydrated, it makes you have all types of bad symptoms. Like it makes you feel dizzy and, you know, you feel more hungry and, you know, your waist doesn't go out the other end as well without water. Anyways, enough of that, but yeah, you definitely want to keep a water bottle somehow. You know, you could use these plastic wasteful ones, or you could be more eco and use water bottles like this. I would recommend the reusable water bottle just to be more eco-friendly, but definitely somehow carry some water because I don't want you guys to be dying and dehydrated. The second tip I have for you guys is to always carry around deodorant, especially when you're running since, you know, body odor doesn't bring the boys to your backyard. I mean, come on, you're just like, hey, and you know, you raise your arms and you know, high five somebody and they could smell your body odor. They want to run away. So make sure you have deodorant and apply it before and after workouts because you know, you probably stink after a workout and that's totally normal but just carry deodorant around and body mist and you'll be fine. The third tip I have for you guys is to have a solid pair of shoes. So I just got these yesterday but they're already kind of ruined, like there's mud all over it and dirt and stuff so I have to clean it. But these are the Nike Free Run 3 Pluses and these are just really lightweight shoes. So if you're looking for lightweight shoes, I would definitely recommend Nike Free Run. The front heel part is really flexible so it's a lot easier to run. And I mean, I'm not saying you should run on your toes, but it's really easy to run if you are a front heel striker. But for me, I'm a heel breaker so, you know, I run kind of like on my back heel which isn't the best but these shoes actually really work well for me and these are super lightweight and I didn't wear any socks with these shoes and they felt great they're so comfortable to walk slash run in and these are just perfect for everyday wear even because these are so comfortable and I recommend if you get the Nike free runs just wear it with thin socks so if you wear like heavier socks then your shoes wouldn't feel as lightweight, so wear thin socks and these work better. The shoes that I've been running with for pretty much the whole year are these Mizuno Wave Riders, and these are the Mizuno Wave Rider 14s, and Mizunos are definitely an awesome brand of shoes you could check out, and you should check out, because their shoes are awesome, and they're really stable, and these are designed so well, and I suggest that you know if you have a pair of shoes that you really like keep buying the same pair of shoes because they work for you and they make you run fast and you know sometimes an older model of shoe can be cheaper like these are cheaper than the newer ones so yeah I really recommend these because they're so stable and like I've had these for a year now or some somewhere around that and these like they, they didn't break or anything and they're not really close to breaking I mean I definitely worn out like the heel a little bit but these still work and I still use them today so for stability I recommend Mizuno for light weightness and if you want to feel like you're running barefoot somewhat I recommend the Nike free runs 
And yeah, those are just two different shoes that I have that I recommend to you guys. And just make sure you have a decent pair of shoes because that's really important since, you know, you don't want to be running on with pain because of your shoes. And if your shoes don't offer good enough support for you, I would recommend a pair of insoles. That's that for shoes. So then the next thing I recommend for you guys, or my next tip, is to have an armband if you have an iPod or iPhone. And I recommend an armband because if you know you have an iPod Touch, like you don't want to be running and it slips out of your hand and your screen cracks. Like that's really bad. Like I don't want to run handheld because I mean it could also be kind of dangerous too. Like what if it drops on the floor and someone like picks it up? I don't know. I'm just really paranoid about these things. But an armband, it's so much easier. You just like put your iPod there and just open your running app and just strap it around your arm. And this one's Everlast one, and I showed it in a haul video. But an app that I really recommend, regardless if you get the armband or not, is the Nike Plus Running for those of you who have iPods because it measures your time and your distance and it's really accurate even without the GPS and if you use your iPhone to run then there's a GPS if you have 4G which is so so helpful because sometimes you get lost. The next tip I have for you guys is more of a what to expect tip. When I went to cross country I thought that it was gonna be an easy sport but I thought wrong because uh, workouts can be really hard and some of the workouts can make you want to cry and it's totally normal to want to cry and want to quit and want to never run again in your life because I know I feel like that a lot especially when I'm like frustrated with all this running and so it's just a lot and so I really just say that you know expect running to be pretty hard but you will overcome it like girl you got the strength to do this or a guy if you're watching this but yeah, I mean, it's not easy. It's not built to be an easy sport. Running isn't easy at all, so that's something that a lot of people overlook. Like, a lot of people think that running would be really easy since everybody knows how to run, pretty much. I mean, it's not, like, a skillful sport, like, a skillful sport, but it requires a lot of, like, mentalness. And finally, my last tip for you guys, which is one of the most helpful tips, I believe, at least for me, is when you're running a race, especially a race, don't ever stop to walk or just don't even stop. If you're feeling like you're going to puke because of row up, just like do a slow jog, but never ever stop and start to walk because I did that so many times last year and I got the most horrible times ever. And it's just really bad if you just like stop to walk, especially during the middle of a race because, you know, if you stop to walk, people see that you're not really trying that hard, so it kind of looks bad. And people like people behind you can sl slowly but surely catch up to you, and it's just not really good because it'll be really hard to catch up to people because you're behind everybody when you walk when you walk and so that's definitely a tip to keep in mind and it would if I knew this last year I would have not walked so much because I know that I got terrible times but I still walk because it was really hard but just keep going like I know you got this like keep going always and that is pretty much it for my video and I hope you guys you know found this video helpful in some way and got something out of this video if you have any additional questions like I said feel free to private message me if you don't want to put it down in the comments or just comment down below and thank you so much for all of your support and I appreciate and love every one of you guys and yeah thank you so much for just tuning into this video and have a fabulous day and stay peaceful I don't know but yeah peace out guys and bye guys this anyways today as you could tell I look a little different on oh, my boob touch <laughs>